Hey guys, today's video is going to be really interesting. Often time when you play solo in rank, you will find that not all the games are easy and usually you will be at disadvantage position. Our team had a terrible start and things started to look very dire. And usually when that happens, you start to feel a little bit demotivated and just want to give up. But instead, if you can somehow manage to turn that around and actually use the situation to focus more, you will see that turning the game around is not impossible. In this game, the opposite team has Selena, so we decide to try to steal her blue first. I think the enemy had the same idea and wanted to steal our buff instead. Here I knew the enemies were taking the red, but because I'm not the tank, me going first is not the best idea. So ideally the tank should be the one to pay attention to those details and lead the way. A terrible start, which happens quite often, so don't get tilted right from the get go. As you probably already know, I pay a lot of attention to the map, but when I'm playing against Selena, it really takes me out of my usual playstyle and I have to focus more on the main screen. This is why I like to ban her a lot, she's kind of my kryptonite. But once I got used to it, you will see something very interesting later in the game. Alright, this when I decide to really focus. Here I saw our bottom lane pushing, so I decided to wait here and ambush whoever tries to defend their bottom turret. I saw the Selina and Kufrax coming bottom as well. Instead of retreating back away, I decided to change form as fast as I can and see if I can base Kufra jump so my team can kill him. Here you can clearly see that Kaja is coming, we had the perfect map vision. Always pay attention to the map, don't be lazy about it. Bring your loss to Leslie in 1v1, things are definitely not looking good at all.
Okay, several things happened in that engagement, so let's rewind and let me explain what just happened in detail. We decided to gain Leslie, who was too cocky and out of position. But then I saw that the Selena and Kufa were coming top. My plan was to kill Leslie fast while making sure to dodge Selena's stun. Now even Kaya showed up. He will definitely try to ult me. So I used my light ultimate to dodge his ultimate. Here's the replay version if you couldn't tell. Now the problem is Kufra. So I'm moving far away from the right bush. Once I saw Kufra's ultimate animation, I decided to preemptively activate Purify. Here I was thinking that the only way we can screw this up is if Selena's managed to stun me, so I was 100% ready to dodge it. I know it's been a while since I used my light ultimate, so I was pretty sure it's not on cooldown anymore. If you think about it, we are supposed to lose that fight, it was a 4v3 situation, but if you really focus, you can outplay the enemies and turn the tide of battle. By the way, while this was all happening, our smartsmen did a good job of pushing the bottom lane while the enemies were being distracted. These are my builds. I like to build her Calamity Reaper because of how her second skill works. In case you don't know what I'm talking about, I explained that in one of my videos, tips and tricks that might surprise you. I will leave the video link in the description down below. This is how I set up her emblem. I decided to use Purify in this game because the enemies have Kufra, Kaja and Selina, but usually I will either use Flame Shot or Retribution. When playing Lunox, it's a good idea to keep 1 points toward the light form, so you can easily use the ultimate to escape and change to the dark form faster. And also this is how you can activate her ultimate buff, which I'll also explain in my other video. I know it's officially called Chaos and Order, but it looks more like dark and light to me, so I will just keep calling it that way. you use the ultimate to take the buff fast, or else it would take too long, and her ultimate has pretty short cooldown anyway. That was way too aggressive from the Granger, luckily he didn't die. So I saw that Kaja and Badan used their ultimate, now I can play very aggressively. It's really important to pay attention to the cooldown of the skill from the enemies. If you see that they use a lot of their skill, then play more aggressive than usual. Here I saw that Kufra was a bit distracted and was heading middle or bottom, and since he's the only one with ultimate, I thought I could take the turret down first without much trouble. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hey guys, I have decided to do a weekly skin giveaway because you guys have been amazing and I truly appreciate that. The price is 900 diamonds worth a giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe and leave a comment and I will randomly choose one. If you are selected, I will send you a direct message, but please don't leave your ID or the skin you want, because I won't be picking those. Thanks and best of luck.